Hello, and welcome to the 5-Minute IEP. Today's topic is the four tests for a good IEP. So you've written the goals, you've written the IP, you feel you're ready. I want you to do four tests to really see if it's good to go. The four tests are the stranger test, the dead body test, the so what test, and the measurement test. So what are they? First, the stranger test. So you and your neighbor, the teachers in the elementary, they all get this IP goal. But suppose that a student moved to another deaf school, another public school, another state. Can a teacher pick up the IP and understand what to do? You know, sometimes you'll talk about um, a little bit of a specific program, something well known, something that people have to go, oh, wait, what is that? And then they'll remember and, and then it's fine. But if they look at it and they're like, I don't know what that score means. I don't know what that program means. I don't know what the goals are talking about. I've seen an IP where um, the student needs to use the 11 math strategies. And I'm like, what are 11 math strategies? And I was a math teacher, and I didn't understand what they were talking about. So if another person can't understand the IEP when they pick it up, and they can't move ahead with it, it means it's not a good goal. Next test is the dead body test. If a dead body can do it, it means it's not a good goal. So for example, a student who disrupts class yelling all the time, and you write a goal that student will not scream in class. Well, dead body can do that. Um, another example, student will not make any mistakes on an assignment. Well, dead body can do that. Your goal needs to have action to it. It needs to have a, a purpose, a goal. It needs to show an increase or a decrease. Okay, third test, the so what test. Sometimes we write such a beautiful IP goal, but so what? How will it actually help the student in their future? How will it really benefit the student? For example, I've seen a goal where a student in the fourth grade is still trying to figure out how to tie their shoes. It's like, well, they're in fourth grade at this point. They already know how to use Velcro. Everyone's already accommodated the student. So they're fine. I've seen where a high school student is still drilling on second or third grade skills. Obviously, they've already accommodated that skill, replaced it. Or, you know, as a math person, everybody has a calculator now. So after about sixth or seventh grade, memorizing multiplication facts, so what? Your, your goal needs to have a clear and obvious impact, benefit, for the rest of a student's life. And if not, rewrite the goal. All right, last one, we've got the measurement test. Can you actually measure the goal? I've seen where people write words like often, sometimes, less. Uh, okay, well, what exactly do you mean by that? Or people write a goal that will kill you and the student. 20 question vocab test every single week or twice a week. Be careful with the words too, like bi-weekly, does that mean every two weeks or twice a week? I want to make sure that the goal really integrates with your classroom instruction. Now, of course you're going to make additions and you're going to accommodate and diversify for the students, but Will it eat up your time, and will it eat up the student's motivation and energy? If it's hard to measure, if it's vague to measure, it's not a good goal. So again, the four tests. Stranger, dead body, so what, and measurement tests. If you can say yes, if it passes all of them, then you've got a good goal. Okay, that's your five-minute IEP tip for today. Have a great day.